Hello, and good evening YouTube. Puffing Billy here once again. On a rather cold February evening. Smoking my Missouri Meerschaum cob. Country gentleman. With some Hamilton's. It was kindly gifted to me by Vinyl Piper. Shout out to Tom, Vinyl Piper. And this video is going to be my VR to Smokey Dan. Now I've, I've been spending the last couple of days thinking about what I'd read because uh, what Dan's asked us to do is, is read a, a small section. Um, from a fairy tale uh, or a book of of, uh, of our choosing, and as I say, as I said, I, I wrestled with what I would read because um, I like to read a lot, and um, when you're when you're someone who you know enjoys lots of books, it's difficult to kind of choose one or choose a particular section of one. Um, so I decided to read a poem. And I've decided to read a Arthur Rimbaud poem. And it's a war poem. Um, I don't think Rimbaud was particularly renowned for his war poetry. I think he, he wrote a few war poems. But he had his most sort of prolific stage of, of writing and creativity between about the age of 17 to 20. Um, it was around that time that he wrote this poem, I think probably 19, um, and the poem's called The Sleeper in the Valley. Now, this is really annoying because I have this, which is a, a sort of selection of French poetry, French romantic poetry, um, and I have some Baudelaire, and I've got this Arthur Rimbaud book of poems, but unfortunately I can't find the particular poem I'm looking for and I know it's in a book I have somewhere a lovely book of uh, of Rimbaud's poetry um, so I've had to resort to the internet which is uh, which is annoying because I'd like to have shown you the book but this this is actually a really beautiful book this is a really old I think this, this was printed in about I think the sort of early 40s um, but unfortunately it hasn't got the poem that I'd like to read to you guys so I'd like to find it on the internet I'm just gonna have a little tamper Now, I'll be doing well if I don't shed a tear reading this poem. It's uh, a poem that I uh, find myself thinking about um, in terms of war. Whenever, whenever there's uh, any conflict going on, I, I, th I think of this poem. And it's, uh, it's well, I think it's beautiful. Um, so without further ado, I shall read you it. It's called The Sleeper in the Valley. It is a green hollow where a stream gurgles crazily catching silver rags of itself on the grasses. Where the sun shines from the proud mountain, it is a little valley bubbling over with light. A young soldier, open-mouthed, bareheaded, with the nape of his neck bathed in cool blue cresses, sleeps. He is stretched out on the grass under the sky, pale on his green bed where the light falls like rain. His feet in the yellow flags, he lies sleeping, smiling, as a sick child might smile, he is having a nap. Cradle him warmly. Nature, he is cold. <sighs> no odour makes his nostrils quiver. He sleeps in the sun, his hand on his breast, at peace. There are two red holes in his right side. After reading that, I'm going to have a quick sip of my port. I'm sure Rimbaud would approve. So that's my VR. Um, a war poem. I hope that's okay, Dan. And um, congratulations on the subs. 
I think I speak for us all when I say um, not surprised. Yeah, your channel's great. Always really, really enjoy watching your videos. Um, always enjoy listening to your reviews. Very informative and helpful. And um, yeah, you're a thoroughly good chap. And uh, hopefully, at some point, perhaps maybe over the next year, uh, at some point, maybe in the summer, we can we can get to meet um, because I'd really like to to meet up with you guys. And I don't know whether when the next um, the pipe meet is is kind of planned for, but uh, I'd like to be involved. So uh, yeah, congratulations again and all the very best.